on this stage, the medium between person and page, I'll be up front, right out of the blue. I want to sleep with you. I mean, I want to sleep with you, you see. I have these incredibly daft dreams and I'm sorry, but I know I'm definitely not deft at telling stories like you are, so maybe if we slept together, our minds would find a way to intertwine and I could just show you. I'd like that mind going numb soon arm as your pillow, me as your blanket, but halfway through your sleep, the wisp of your whispers would wrap yourself around me. And I want to see what you really look like, scrubbed out, as you call it, in the morning without any kind of makeup, because I want to be the blinds in the morning when you just don't want to wake up. <laughs> My lips and yours will make out all sorts of corny similes and metaphor play. We're face to face and watching acne gets boring, so I'll play whack your moles or connect the dots with your zip so I know a pimple more about you now. <laughs> and when you're snoring away, I bet you will be, I'll get on top. Stop, I'm not that nasty. Maybe I'll break my compass accidentally, then get lost. Then I'll get on top, pitching a ride in your train of thought. I'll bring new meaning to a mind map. I'll plot its every destination, and maybe scribble in my imagination as the next station. And you are as fine as the pen I'll write it with. In your dreams, you said you were a princess. Honestly, I'd stare. I'd say, you look like a princess. No? Well, then I compare you to, well, I don't know, I wasn't there. So you were like a simile and you were a metaphor, I guess. So maybe when you're not looking, I might just steal your dress, put it on, and yes, it might be real tight, but I want to know what probably stunning feels like. <laughs> so one once called us a mental powerhouse. If only they knew what went on when you and I were the only thoughts up there and upstairs, smack dab in the middle of the attic. You've got a cloud generator. Top notch, top shelf kind of special, and you are the only one in town that knows how to use it. So when you brainstorm, I run outside with your umbrella turned inside out. I'll be understanding, catching what you're thinking about. And what were you thinking about when we kissed for the first time? See your, lit, your face and your lips lit by mine were like the North Star to the lost boy who broke his compass on purpose. And you said, mm. that was weird because it was weird. And I said, baby. I want to kiss, kiss, kiss you. I want my petty words to touch you so deeply that you feel it. But only in my head, though. And I do want to get on the tip of your tongue. I do want to get on the tip of your tongue, but only as a word that you wanted to say. But it would be easier if you just wrote it down and said it that way. Thank you. <laughs>